the concept is that p upon q will terminate if q has only 5s and 2s as the prime factors. Look at statement 1. 650 is a multiple of q. So q into some integer k is equal to 650. This can be written as 50 into 13. See 50 is made up of all 5s and 2s but there is a 13 also here. q into k is equal to 50 into 13. Now if q has a 13 in it, the answer would be no. If q does not have a 13 in it, if it is 50 or one of the factors of 50, then the answer would be yes. No and yes both are possible. Statement 1 is not sufficient. Statement 2 alone is of course not sufficient. This is too little information. This is too little an information and now we need to combine. On combining we know that q into k is equal to 50 into 13 and q is not a multiple of 13. So we know that q cannot have 13. q can be equal to 50 or it has to be one of the factors of 50. In all such cases we will only get yes. No can be eliminated because no was for the cases when q had a 13 in it. And therefore on combining we can say yes p upon q will terminate and therefore combining worked. c is the right answer. 